So Eugene, if you could take us through you and your, your team's view of why you decided to make, what was the dynamic of figuring out why that's a good thing for the franchise to intentionally make the building smaller? Right, the uh, building itself was built uh, over 25 years ago and um, you know what we found, I've been here for 13 of those 25 and I found that uh, it's the attendance shifts dramatically over a period of two decades and it has. Um, we at the time, uh, my understanding is at the time, 25 years ago, the big deal, the hot thing to do was to have as many suites as you can. Suites were flying off the sales desks of uh, personnel. And now we have probably 25 too many suites. And the whole trend has now moved to less suites, more clubs, and frankly, smaller stadiums. So when you look at things like a new stadium downtown, we're not going to build a 20,000 seat stadium. It'll probably be closer to a 15 to 17 in there. And this way, it, uh, uh, it doesn't dilute the audience. It doesn't uh, you know, put too much stress on the people internally to keep selling, selling, selling. You open your doors, you're sold out, or you're close to a sellout, you don't have to worry about it. And the main thing is, is the impact, and if you speak to any of the players during your travels this year, just ask them about what the attendance means. They know exactly how many people are in the building, and um, it truly is, for them, the seventh man. They, they get pumped, and I saw it during the playoffs.